Hello again, my name is Vashalos, and I wanted to give you guys an update on my Scarlet Monastery Stealth Run Chest Farm for Rogues. And the update entails telling you guys about what runes I've chosen, the talent points that I've chosen, a macro that I made to help target some rare spawns within the graveyard, as well as an extension of the route so that you don't run into a dungeon reset timer and have nothing else to do. Because, um... You can make a lot of gold doing this. I just spent a single afternoon and I made about 44 gold. And I'm just going to fill you guys in on everything that I decided to start doing yesterday. So we will start out just as we did with the previous video. And that is going to be with this 4-pack in front of this guaranteed chest. Use Blade Flurry, use that. We use a Mutilate, we use Adrenaline. And then we get our defensives up. We make sure we get a Slice and Dice out so we can maximize the value of our Blade Flurry, and then we Eviscerate to get a big punch on both targets before our Blade Flurry goes away, and we immediately swap to the next target, refresh our Blade Dance. We didn't really need to, we had like 10 seconds left, I could have used that on a Slice and Dice. Alright, so that's the first chest. And let's go ahead and talk about some of the gear that I would recommend that you pick up. That would be Blood Harvest Blade from the Stranglethorn PvP event, and then Scout's Blade. I tried out the previous dagger, which was 5 silver, and... While the active is nice, I don't really think anyone wants to be waiting around on an additional 3 minute cooldown. Um, it could save you in a pinch, but you can't wield both at the same time, and I do think Blood Harvest Blade is better because it gives you agility and stamina, which will just help you not die. If you haven't had um, Wowhead's recommended Prebus Ring drop from Iron Spine yet, let me go ahead and show you on Atlas Loot. So Iron Spine is a rare within this dungeon, and he can drop Iron Spine's Eye. It has 4 strength and 9 agility, and in case you don't have that yet, then you can you can wear two Legionnaire's bands from the Warsong Gulch reputation. Now, they can't be the exact same one. You have to have a level 28 and then a level 38 one. But I think they're very nice rings, and I might even prefer this over Iron Spines, because it not only gives me every stat that Iron Spines I gives me, but it also gives me 4 additional stamina, further lending itself to that whole not dying thing we love doing. Um, moving on, moving on, the runes that we are using is, of course, Blade Dance, Mutilate, and Just a Flesh Wound. Just a Flesh Wound and Blade Dance are mandatory. Um, you can probably do this without Mutilate, um, and you can probably do this without Waylay, uh, which is what I'm currently testing out. The reason why I'm testing it out is because rolling with the punches, while very nice for tank rogues, um, I am unsure as to how it functions. Now, not on a basic level. I understand that if you dodge or parry, you gain 6% increased health stacking up to 5 times. Now, does that mean I am immediately in possession of that health, or do I have to receive a heal in order to utilize that new maximum, right? Like, right now I'm at 1,700. If I dodge... And that 6% increased health, is it already there, or do I need that heal? Um, that's why I'm practicing with Waylay, because it's a permanent addition to our survivability versus a theoretical addition. Sorry to talk your ear off there, but um, I thought you should know. And let's go ahead and start spamming that macro so that we can figure out whether or not we have a valuable friend within this dungeon. Doesn't look like it. Um, one thing to note on the macro is that it does have a radius. It does have a radius, so you should walk around a little bit in your dungeon just to be sure that there's nothing actually here that you could make an extra couple silver or even gold off of. Um, if you have Iron Spine spawn and you don't need the ring, you're happy with your second Legionnaire's band, or you already have Iron Spine's eye. You can sell it. Um, you can turn your group over to Master Loot 
whenever you invite somebody and you can be like hey I have iron spine in my group I'm selling the run um, I've seen people sell it for 10 gold so um, it's up to you what you want to do with the rare spawns I'm sure the other rare spawns are just as valuable because I've seen people get super excited over what is it um, I think it's azure was it the wand I'm pretty sure it's the wand that I've seen people get excited over so it's really um, up to you how you make your profit in my opinion on Scarlet Monastery Graveyard I've heard people can also just do armory and cathedral and go pickpocketing there's a lot of value in fade leaf and the gems that you can get from pickpocketing we dispatched that patrol earlier be sure to do it in that hallway pickpocket now one reason why I don't really like doing the whole pickpocket strategy fully is that um, you can be resisted and when you get resisted you're forced out of stealth and then you have to use vanish and then if you don't have vanish later on for another sticky situation that you're already in combat for it, it can get really um, unfortunate but for Inquisitor Vicious here I've started to sap him every time I sap Inquisitor Vicious I deal with his um, nearby NPC and that leaves me a little bit of time to cannibalize that target after they've been killed and I'm full health for whenever I have to fight him get our blade dance up slice and dice pump out some mutilates I hope he doesn't cast shadow word pain because that shadow word pain is really how he sneaks in a lot of damage he sneaks in a lot of damage through that also I shouldn't be letting my blade dance drop but I did oh no I will drink a potion I'll rip the secrets from your flesh Ow. you got two good hits in so inquisitor vicious is a little scary um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna beat around the bush he is scary and he can certainly edge out a victory on you due to shadow word pain depends on how often he casts it and it depends on how often a hit sneaks through past your blade dance whether or not you've made a mistake like I did forgetting that the uptime has finished and um, yeah just be careful with him he, he really hurts just gonna get my health back before we move on loot that lockbox destroy some cave mold And we will now head over towards the library. Our cooldowns are back, which means that we are ready for another big fight. Oh yeah, something I'm forgetting. Uh, something I forgot last time, too. Put on your poisons. Seriously. I constantly forget to do this, and it is a main reason as to why um, certain situations will go, go awry. 100% be sure to have a process in terms of how you do this poisons are very useful you could try it with deadly brew in case you don't really want to spend uh, money on poisons or have those poisons in your inventory not sure how that would work um, You'd have more damage, but you'd be taking about 20% more physical damage per hit. In my opinion, this is all about surviving. Something, something, best defense is a good offense. So, I don't know, give it a try. If you if you want to try out Deadly Brew, um, just don't give up Blade Dance. You, you definitely need Blade Dance. So, hopefully we're on the right timer. We're going to go over here, we're going to hunt down a patrol we're not on the right timer we were a little slow and I'm going to wait very patiently in this spot right here I'll walk out and look at it again so you can see exactly where it is so you walk through that doorway and it's this corner it's the first side room corner right below this picture and we're gonna wait 
and rub our hands. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> he's gonna regret walking right here. <laughs> Do a little uh, cheap shot action. Throw up that blade dance. He's a monk. Uh, monks really hurt. So, you know, cross your fingers, you get some lucky dodges and parries. He parries me, which isn't fun. It's not very cool of him. Uh, I'm going to use a rupture there, just in case. Use our blade flurry. And what I really just don't want to happen here is him to aggro another mob. Sometimes they sprint. They just really book it sometimes. It's kind of scary. You just have to have a fast reaction time. <laughs> he definitely regretted it. He definitely regretted walking over here. So this is where the chest room actually is. We're going to focus the Adept and spend all our cooldowns. Oh, I got stunned. Okay. That one was a little awkward. But the good news is is that we're going to pull her over here because this is actually I think the safer spot. The good news is, is that we didn't pull any additional monsters. This is a room that you will probably specifically want um vanish for. Because the likelihood of them escaping is, is kind of high. I would say library is definitely the scariest in terms of escapees. That's the first chest, and there are two chests inside the library. I'm going to go ahead and go show you the second one and all the locations that I believe it can spawn. You can pickpocket these guys if you want to. Just be mindful that you can be resisted and end up having a bad time. And there's the chest. This is the first chest location. Um, but just to give you an inkling of an idea of what it would look like in the other spots, it's exactly like this. It's going to be in one of these kinds of rooms with the pillars and the four quadrants, right? One, two, three, four. And what you can do is wait for patrols. Always look for patrols first. And isolate them. We won't have our cooldowns up in time for this chest, so we're going to have to do something different. Pickpocket. Kill him. Pull him back. You want him in this doorway. No renewing. Okay. We pooled our energy. And we're going to eat. We're going to use a little bit of food that we picked up from the other chests, but I don't think we actually kept it. Oh, no, we have some wild hog shank. Perfect. Perfect. We're going to delete some other stuff, too, that we can't use so that we have room for everything in the chest. We should open up some lock boxes that we've picked.
I think we have one more somewhere. No? Okay. So what we're going to do in order to complete this section is we will sap a target and engage the other. Just like it's Inquisitor Vicious. Sometimes there will be three monsters. If there's three, um, you can try and eke out a victory with uh, blind on the secondary target, but I'd recommend at that point just probably wait for evasion, adrenaline rush, and your blade flurry. We'll go ahead and eat. If you're not an undead rogue, then you won't be able to do that. Um, so maybe have a potion ready. Or a bandage. You could use a bandage, now that I think about it, during that time. So train your first aid. I'm going to um, pull this chaplain over towards this corner, since it's safer. Stop that. And if you can't do all of this the first try, you know, just practice, right? Um, it's really just about pooling your energy rather than mindlessly spending it. So, uh, think like a rogue in a PvP match, right? You're looking to control the situation rather than obliterate it. I'll go ahead and show you the other location. Just so you guys know where we'll, where it will be. Could be in one of these spots. But the patrol is really what you should worry about. And it's this guy right here. So he'll be patrolling up and down these hallways. And the chest can also spawn back here. This is probably the worst position for it to spawn. As it will be right here between these chairs, like right behind these guys. It's not terrible. You can kill these guys quite easily, but you will need your cooldowns. Um, or at the very least, you'll need to sap one and then blade flurry and immediately blade dance. So those are the locations for chests within the library. Again, make sure you kill that guy right there, as he is a troublesome patrol. And you would kill him in the exact same way that I killed the previous patrol at the beginning of these corridors. Uh, they're capable of being isolated. And we will now head over towards Scarlet Armory. Armory? Armory? Pronunciation is so hard. To Armory! Here we go. If you're level 40 and doing uh, this chest run, I hope you have your Scarlet Key by now. And we'll go ahead and run on in there. Stealth up. Quick note, Armory and Cathedral. Once again, really great pickpocket farms. Um, just beware that it becomes more about resistance to being pickpocketed and waiting for your vanish to come back up if that happens. So, not really a fan of doing that. Um, Armory can have the chest spawn in two locations. This is the, in my opinion, this is the best location, as it only requires you to kill one patrol, and then the likelihood of escapees is very low. And after I kill this patrol, I will show you the other patrol that you should kill. In case the chest spawns in the second location. Excuse me. We're going to pull her over here. Cool. And let me cannibalize.
stabilize real quick. And then we grab this chest. Blade Flurry, Evasion, Mutilate, Adrenaline, Mutilate, Blade Dance, Mutilate, Slice and Dice, Eviscerate. There's a secondary patrol that can walk around the corridor, so I would recommend just uh, pulling back a little bit. There's not really anywhere else they can go. I thought that was a runner. I was like worried for a second. delete some not so worthwhile items or open them. We have some lock boxes so we'll open up lock boxes before we delete anything. We got lucky and had an iron lock box drop. That's pretty nice. We actually do have to delete something. Okay, we'll get rid of the dust of decay. How about that? And then we'll open that final lock box. We'll look for something else to delete. Probably the food at this point. We'll eat some. Deathweed we don't really care about right now. We don't use mana. It's a low value item spot. Cool. Got some fade leaf. And I would like to show you the other chest location now, which is right down here. You will wait in this corridor, this little hallway, for the patrol. Should be right up here somewhere, where they are. And you'll just kill them right in here. All in all, I would say these runs are about 20 to 25 minutes to do each wing in succession. And if you do everything that I've just done, you shouldn't be running into a dungeon timer because you'll run into a full inventory. You'll then have to go and sell, clear everything, go to the auction house, list the things that you do want to put on the auction house, and then come back and rinse repeat. You really just don't have enough bag space for how much stuff you're getting here. And um, you, you can make quite a lot of gold. It just depends on how much of a stomach you have for listing things on the auction house, how lucky you get, um, how good you are for nailing down the technique. But just to not waste any more of your time, this is where the second chest location is. Be sure to kill that patrol. And... Honestly, I would kill, um, if a Guardsman spawns, kill the Guardsman first, as I think they have lower parry chance due to not having a shield, but I could be wrong. So if you don't see that chest in the first location at the Armory, be sure to come check here and kill that secondary patrol. So, let's go ahead and go over the profit that we made after the updated run. We started at around 44 gold, so we've made almost 2 gold raw just from killing monsters and opening the chests and then there is all of this stuff that we have to go and sell this king's blood doesn't count i picked this up from my mailbox before starting this video but everything you see here otherwise has been picked up during this run and we could even delete some space and do a couple more if we really wanted as it's not like the maximum we could make for a trip to the vendor but again it's really up to you and 
I hope you enjoyed watching. So like, comment, and subscribe. I would appreciate anything you have to offer in that regard. I have a Discord community that I would love for you to join. I'll leave that down below in the description. And I stream every day. I hope to see you over on Twitch sometime, um, usually 4 to 10 hours. And I think that does it. I'll see you guys in the next video. And let me go ahead and show you the full inventory of loot, just from graveyard, library, and armory run. See you guys next time.